Well, I've just picked up the Musketeer Centaur Caravan by Crusader Caravans. This caravan has a whole new layout for 2023. We've got the caravan hitched up to this Ford. We're heading along the Hume Highway because I want to take this caravan to one of my favourite spots to test a caravan just outside of Melbourne. There's a lot of gravel, a lot of open spaces, some undulations. It's just a pretty spot. Now, we definitely could have picked better weather to go caravanning. There's strong crosswind, there's no sun, and I think we're gonna get dumped on with rain a bit later. If anything, the rain, well, it might just make this entire trip more interesting. Okay, so we've just arrived at our destination for the day. This bitumen is just about to give way to some gravel. And my biggest concern really is that uh, if we get a lot of rain, these gravel roads are going to very quickly turn into soup. This is all about traction and water is often, if not always, the enemy when it comes to, you know, traction and staying in, in control of your equipment. This caravan has been quite nice to tow behind this Ford Everest. No real issues to report. We're not using any load leveling equipment, no weight distribution hitch on the back. And, you know, so far so good. Well, I've just found a spot where I might spend a day or two with the Crusader Musketeer Centaur. It's a 19 foot, six inch internal layout. Now, one of the first things to know about Crusader Caravans is they have become one of the leaders in fiberglass composite sandwich panel construction. And that attention to detail, that know-how is once again on show in this caravan. It all starts with the Ecolite panels. These Ecolite panels are comprised of two external skins of high quality fiberglass, while the core is an XPS foam insulation. And when it comes to this sort of construction, that is the gold standard. It offers the best possible thermal efficiency. It's strong, it's rigid, it's hail resistant. And let's not forget, it makes things a bit quieter on the inside of the caravan too. Crusaders engineers have used three different Ecolite panels for the walls, the roof and the floor, each with different properties. And of course the panels are precision cut and they're all interlocked and screwed together. I mean these caravans are rigid. I mean there's a good reason why vehicles like trucks and motorhomes are made with these sorts of fiberglass sandwich panels. Just before I move the Ford Everest, look, you can see on the A-frame, we don't have a storage box or a toolbox or anything like that. But when it comes to storage, we do have a really decent tunnel boot up front. And this is one detail that I always like to see on a caravan, a bit of protection for the gas regulator. And this is what I like to see, the gas bayonet mounted into the body of the caravan rather than mounted to the chassis up underneath where it's vulnerable. This is a nice, neat fitting. No reason why it should get damaged. Now this is something I think we're gonna start seeing more of. Here we have a wireless caravan reversing camera. These products actually work really, really well without going into too much detail now. Suffice to say, I reckon it's a good choice. Now geez, these panels, they're tough. That's definitely hail resistant. Oh, I just think it's gonna last you a long, long time. The Musketeer Centaur is a brand new caravan for Crusader. One of the reasons behind this caravan is, you know, customers were telling Crusader that they liked the Aramis, they wanted a van just like the Aramis, but just a little bit shorter. Hence, we have this 19 foot, six inch internal layout. It's actually a little bit surprising. I mean, they've fitted a club lounge inside this relatively compact layout without skimping on the size of the bathroom or any of the other essential features of the caravan, including the front bedroom and the kitchen. Now, not everybody is going to like having an offside club lounge, but you can opt for, you know, a traditional L-shaped or cafe-style dinette instead. Now, you might have noticed we've got the black sink, the black tapware. Look, that's actually part of the black pack upgrade. As standard, the caravan would come with a stainless steel sink. Now, this layout isn't the only thing new for Crusader. In fact, they're launching a whole new color scheme, and this color scheme is part of what they call the designer series. The color scheme in this caravan is called Forest Lux, and I mean, it looks great. Love the green paneling for the doors and the cupboards. And not to mention the color of this dinette upholstery. I think it looks fantastic. 
And can I just say, putting your PowerPoint up here under the overhead lockers to me makes a great deal of sense. It's leaving the walls nice and uncluttered. In fact, anywhere you look in this caravan, with one or two very small exceptions, there are no switches. Even the bed head's a little bit different to what you might expect. Instead of it being a vinyl sort of material, it's a nice warm fabric. In case you're wondering about this caravan's 12 volt system, it comes as standard with a 105 amp hour AGM battery. There's a BM Pro battery management system as well as a BM Pro Mini Boost DC to DC charger. Now, if you haven't used a DC to DC charger before, I think you would really, really find them beneficial because it means you're getting maximum power into your battery as you're towing your van. So your battery should be nicely topped up by the time you arrive on site. In terms of water, you've got two 95 litre fresh water tanks as well as a 95 litre grey water tank. Looking underneath the caravan as well, you can see they've wrapped some of that PVC piping in some protective material, which to me just makes good sense. So with the addition of this new Centaur caravan, there's quite a few within the range for you to find what one works best for you and your needs. And at the end of the day, if you wanted a caravan that was under 20 feet in length, this would be the one to choose. It's got the center door, your tandem axles, washing machine in the bathroom, full cooking facilities, a four burner cooktop, griller and oven, a microwave that's recessed into the cabinetry above. And what would a caravan be without a three-way fridge freezer? In this case, it's a 180 litre Dometic unit. You know, Crusader, they're just doing some really good things. Every time I have a look at one of their vans, I'm always impressed. The caravans have got a particular cohesive quality, um, not just talking about the build quality either. In fact, the interior design is up there with the best of them. I think you can tell that whoever's casting their eye over the interior design for these vans, they really know what they're doing. And I think anyone would agree this caravan really is not lacking when it comes to those essential features. I'm talking about your 12 volt Sirocco fans, your sound system and speakers both inside and out. You've got that fully molded shower cubicle, cassette toilet, large windows. Two people are gonna be super comfortable in this caravan, especially with this club lounge, which is a feature that, look, I don't think you see enough of. I think they've done a great job. I really, really like it. To me, it's just so much better than an L-shaped lounge. Now, this caravan really does tick all the boxes, plus more. Build quality, tick. Internal features and comfort, tick. Fit and finish, tick. I think this caravan is up there with the best of them. You know, that eco light, fiberglass, composite sandwich panel construction, tick. And even towing the caravan, no problems whatsoever. In fact, I think this caravan is really well weighted for what it offers you. Under 2,200 kilos tear and a massive payload capacity up to 3,200 kilos. Now the weather's starting to close in. I think any minute now it's gonna start bucketing down. So I reckon I should hitch up and uh, get out of here before these roads start to fall apart in the wet.